Yo, good night, everybody. <laughs> I totally did not even start this vlog for today, which is the 31st of May. I'm a bad vlogger. I'm a bad daily vlogger. So instead of doing just random stuff and me talking about random things, I'm going to just do like an advice video where I'm just gonna talk about like how to start YouTube at a young age and stuff like that. So jump, let's jump straight into that. Whoop! All right, so let's be kind of ghetto right now. I'm just putting the vlogging camera in a random spot. I'm just gonna be sitting in a random spot and we're just gonna talk about YouTube because YouTube is an interesting thing. A lot of people who do want to get into YouTube, they just don't know where to start, how to kind of fund themselves. So I'm gonna just give you my quick story on how I started YouTube. So I was 19 years old when I first started YouTube. I didn't have money, I didn't know what I was doing and I knew there was like a certain formula on how to, you know, get going on YouTube. I never followed the formula and I just thought that working hard and, you know, putting out consistent content was the key. So I decided to go with my gut feeling or my whatever that is, whatever that was. And it kind of turned out, it turned out okay. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, that formula to get where I am right now, but there's no correct way. I'm just gonna be honest, there's no correct way of doing YouTube. I know there's a lot of people that are starting now and they're trying to look to others on how to do things and that shit, wait, let me turn on the lights. Hold up. There we go, um, some lights, I guess. So there's no set way of doing YouTube. You do YouTube how you would like to do it. Now that's very bland. I don't think it's really good advice, but honestly, that's how I started and that's how I'm going to continue doing things, how I want to do it. There's always going to be that outlier that doesn't follow the rules, but end up doing the most, doing the giving giving the most impact on society so hopefully that can be one of you guys so like i said there's not a set in stone way on how to do youtube youtube is just how you want to do it and you'll be successful if you believe in yourself i know that's cliche and i know that's a long stretch but that's honestly what i've been doing for four years and i've gotten to the point where i am now so just being consistent just believe in your gut feeling on how to do things. Do what you love. Don't do anything that everyone else is doing. And you think you like it because you like watching videos like that. Just do it how you want to do it. Again, this is about you and how you do choose to do things. So, uh, what else do I want to cover? I want to cover how I was able to fund myself. How do I get all this equipment? How do I get from here to the top. Now, I think a lot of YouTubers start off either fortunate and have family members that can support them, support their little YouTube dream, or they don't. And kind of like me, I didn't really have anyone to support me financially for this YouTube thing. So I went off and got a part-time job. I think a majority of people should consider getting a part-time job, especially if you want to grow your channel and invest into your channel. Now, you're also going to need moral support. At the time, I was dating my ex, and you guys know and seen her in my vlogs. She supported me through all the rough times on here on YouTube. So, if you can find a, a really good moral support, please don't take it a, take it for a vet. Take don't take it. Please don't take advantage of it and just take that moral support for what it is. And if you don't have moral support, always use your friends and family. They're always there. They're always going to be there when you need them. So another thing that you're going to need, moral support. Now, moral support, money. I know money is tight sometimes, but if you can put that investment towards your YouTube, you're solid. Is there anything else that I need to really cover? 
or starting a YouTube channel. Not really. So that's all I got for t now. If you guys have any questions on anything, I know people want, oh, let me talk about networks because I think a lot of people want to know, like, should I join a network or not? Or if networks are really important for the long term, I think you do need a network so you can, you know, get discovered. And networks do help you when you get bigger, but when you're a smaller ch YouTube channel, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't really look into networks until you hit like a certain amount. I would say like, 50,000 subscribers and plus that's when you consider getting a network otherwise don't worry about networks networks will come find you you don't look for networks that's the golden rule right there do not look for networks let the networks find you and I think that's pretty much it I think that's all that I needed to cover in this video I know this vlog was a different one it's not really a vlog it's just kind of me talking into a camera and kind of giving you guys advice give you guys some Ken Andrew advice. But anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to keep it daily. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to the Young Vlogging channel. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye.